Shout out, Ellie. Or Eli. U.S. authorities have expanded the investigation into Tesla's autopilot system after a dozen collisions at crash scenes involving first responder vehicles. The latest sign that regulators are stepping up scrutiny of the automated driving features. The probe, initially announced by Niway, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration in August, was widened to cover an estimated 830,000 Tesla Model Y, X, S, and 3 vehicles from the 2014 model year onward. The regulator, which has the power to deem cars defective and order recalls, said the vehicles now under investigation have been involved in 14 crashes that resulted in 15 injuries and one fatality. The probe was also converted from a preliminary investigation to an engineering analysis, according to documents posed Thursday on NHTSA's website. The agency says the move will allow it to extend the existing crash analysis and take other steps to determine the extent to which Tesla's technology may exacerbate human factors or behavioral, behavioral safety risks by undermining the effectiveness of the driver's supervision. Hmm. Um, I was listening once to a podcast about a car that had an issue catching fire and I was, it was a very interesting and inside look into how the NHTSA would look at a car post collision involving injuries or worst case scenario fatalities. And they would say, Hey, is there anything about this car that right. is deficient that where if this person were in another car where things may have gone differently, the, the, with traditional vehicles, it would be around design. Where is the fuel tank? Um, is there enough of a, a crush zone to limit the impact and airbags and things like this? In Tesla's case, you can see the, the suggestion here is that possibly when people are fully entrusting an automated system and just having their hand resting there that maybe they are not in their uh, best in the best position to respond quickly to something going awry now the difficult part about this analysis would be well are people even that good at that anyways? And are automated systems already responsible for saving all kinds of people from all kinds of collision? Mm. Okay, that's possible too. But this investigation, I mean, these types of investigations, this is going to be an ongoing thing. Part of the probe launched in February into the so-called phantom braking phenomenon. No crashes or injuries stemming from the braking issue have been reported. It's going to be ongoing, man. As Tesla becomes such a ubiquitous technology in the world, uh, but it's, also it's going the, to just be a much bigger sample size. Also, the term um, autopilot and um, self-driving, I think that is uh, might be a dangerous term. Yeah, we talked now. about yeah, It's like over-promising. Well, it is and it isn't. I mean, it definitely gets people's attention. No, for, I mean, yes, but... Actually, the systems are not, the way it's, I don't have full self-driving beta, but the way it's implemented now, at least the last time I drive, it, is really not all that different than the lane keeping slash adaptive cruise control slash whatever every automaker wants to call it. It's not super far beyond that. Yes, it can switch lanes. It does turn on its own, but it's constantly prompting you to touch the steering wheel and... It's really just in that in that way, it's not all that different. The capabilities are beyond that, obviously, mm -hmm. but they have to be unlocked for most of us. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure in these cases, they weren't unlocked for this particular analysis. So those people would be using it in a similar fashion. Now, one of the concerning things at one point in time was people figuring out ways to defeat the human recognition systems like is there a person there yeah i remember the, the vehicle was ask, asking me to opt into um driver camera tracking like mm -hmm. looking at me like right. are my eyes open mm -hmm. things like this because i remember defeat devices used to exist that people were using to hang yeah. off the steering wheel so that the weight was there and then they could you see like you remember the yeah, clips yeah. people fully falling asleep I remember. seems a bit much mm-hmm Remember the viral guy who was always in the backseat multiple times. He got the car right. taken away and he's in the backseat again. Yeah. And he goes, I don't care. I'm a. Keeps doing that. <laughs> what was he? He was saying he's like a, 
a millionaire and it doesn't matter. He'll just buy another one. Mm. I don't remember. It was weird. Yeah. Oh, uh, we have an update in the chat on the Arby's Wagyu burger. It's oh. an average burger. Mouth chew is a slight step up from fast food, though. Eight out of ten would <laughs> order again. Shout out, William. Okay. Mouth, mouth chew. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be as 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 Tesla continues to uh, um, fill Make cars. Yeah, as as it continues to fill the market. As it continues to increase in the number of vehicles on the road at any given moment, so will the scrutiny. No surprise. You, you know what's crazy, though? They can actually turn it off if they need to, as based on software, right? Yeah, like they got rid of rolling stop, and mm -hmm. sure they could, but that a lot of people paid for it, and then what? Then you could have I lawsuits. Know, yeah. and It's a whole other thing. It's a whole thing to it, man. Yeah. 